Hi, about a month ago, I got to start working with artworks by Thomas Wolfred. Now, Wolfred called these artworks Lumia. Wolfred kind of invented light art, and I didn't know what I was looking at when I first saw these things. I was mystified about exactly what he was doing. It's as if I was looking at a painting, but I'd never seen a paintbrush. So let me show you a little bit about how Thomas Wolfred worked. I understood this after I actually looked into his mechanisms, and what I saw was it's simply a clear incandescent light bulb and something shiny to reflect it. Because that's all he's doing is he's taking the filament in the clear light bulb and is reflecting it onto the wall. So I'm going to show you that in a minute using these elements and just a little bit of black plastic and some colored material. Let me turn off the lights and I'll show you. Hi, I'm back. So let me show you how Wilfred is working. So we've got our clear light bulb, I've got something shiny, and there it is. And his most basic idea is that I'm shining, I'm just reflecting that filament. But the light bulb itself is washing out that projection. So I'm gonna take some black tin foil and cover it up so now the light, the wall is black, but fancy thing about light is that light only illuminates what it hits. So the light's still up here, and that filament is still projection worthy down there. And I take the reflector and there we go. And that starts looking like Thomas Wolfred's artworks called Lumia, with that basic reflection of that filament. Now I'm slowly moving the reflector. Wolfred did this mechanically, where he moved either the reflector or he moved the light bulb, especially in his earlier works, he was moving the light bulb. Now the quality of the film will make a difference. I've got a mirror here, and the mirror does quite a different thing. And Wolford used this as well. He used different quality of reflective materials. And of course he used color. So just by putting some color, this is amber, on top of the light, I'm now projecting amber. And one of the things that Wolford did was that he would move the color. In this case, it's just the difference between no color and white. So Wilford developed this entire vocabulary, but at its most basic level, he's just taking a filament and something reflective and projecting the beauty of a filament onto a surface. Come see Thomas Wilford's work. Thanks.